Well, all right. Um, oh gosh, okay. I'm a, a, a young lady uh, with long, uh, light purple hair, uh, a yellow scarf around my neck. Um, I look a little bit, uh, maybe shy, like I'm trying to hide myself from other people. Um, a light blue dress. Um, just keeping myself tucked back a little bit. Um, and uh, looking mildly uncomfortable as we rattle along. I'm gonna just kinda hold on to your arm, Laudna, enough. that's all right. You see a also youngish looking woman, not as young as Imogen over here. Long, scraggly, dark hair with a shock of white going through the top of her bangs. She has a pulled back into a half up bun with a rock chisel holding it up. Her skin is pale and her eyes are big, a little bulbous with dilated pupils, almost doll-like. Her lips are dark and she's wearing tattered, scraggly clothes, a black skirt and a blood maroon blouse. You can see she's very thin, gaunt, and around her belt, with some tools and odds and ends, is a dead rat with a bird skull. I made him myself. Uh, Ashton, uh, he, they, he, they, are an earth genasi uh, with green stone skin and a dark purple crystal hair um, on the shorter end of things. Um, they're wearing an awful lot of leather that looks like they've been wearing it for a very, very long time with uh, red fabric lining it. Um, they've got leather pouches, a bit of everything to keep, to keep little bits and pieces together. Some piercings made mostly of nails, uh, and very obviously a giant hole in the left side of their head uh, that has been filled with slag glass, and beneath the slag glass there's a little bit of an opalescent brain that can be seen through. Uh, one of the eyes on the cracked side is milky like a, like a, a tiger's eye gem. Uh, the cracks run most of the upper left side of the body and, and have been patched together with what looks like slag melted gold to piece everything together. Uh, they also have on the back of their very hand decorated jacket the words, just don't. <laughs> um, and a big glass hammer that they carry around that very, very uh, gently just around uh, the base of it says, fuck off. <laughs> uh, so that's Ashton. If you would like to describe yourself. Sure, <laughs> wheeling into the room uh, is an, a, a short automaton with yellow metallic skin, uh, a cute little backpack. Um, <laughs> Uh, he's got, uh, he, they, uh, has uh, two big blue eyes of different shapes. Uh, he's got a, a wheel that he rolls around on. Um, on his chest plate are, uh, are four stripes that sort of look like blades of grass uh, down, down his chest plate. And uh, yeah, he's a, uh, he's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Fern is about a, a six foot tall fawn. Um, very, very long seafoam green hair and um, is just covered in all bits and baubles and, and lots of flowers and toadstools and moss on her hooves and she has a little friend, Mister, and he's a little monkey. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Are you drunk right now? Or is this Always. It? Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, Oram is a halfling. He's three foot and change. Uh, shock of short brown hair. And he's wearing um, 
a little bit of brown leather armor, mostly a breastplate. And um, these leather boots that have round um, green stone rings that are laced into the shin guard of each one. He has a short sword sheathed uh, on his back, an ivy adorned shield on one hand, and um, the armor and and the the very well-worn sashes that are tied around his waist and hanging down have um, woven patterns of ivy and flower on them, and they're beautiful, but they're they're not fancy. They're just well-made and and well-worn. And um, he has a full sleeve tattoo going up his arm that is all clouds from the wrist all the way up onto his shoulder and then disappearing under his armor, onto his chest. And the two moons of Exandria are right here. Uh, Katha is a white crescent and Ruidus is a smaller full moon cradled uh, within. Uh, and he is uh, very fine features. His, uh, he's really ropey muscles and slender like a dancer. Dorian is, um, for all intents and purposes, a normal bard. He's just in traveler's clothes. Um, but if you were to first glance at him, what you would notice is um, how uncharacteristically clean he is. Uh, uh, no mud on his boots. He has a, a large uh, winged sort of armor plate that you can't really tell if it's ornamental or, or functional, and there's not a fingerprint on it. It's perfectly shined. And uh, he's wearing a long cape that uh, has sort of a sunburst ombre that goes down the back. Uh, he's an air genasi, so he sort of moves with the lightness, and you might first mistake it for confidence, but it just seems like it's part of who he is and not so much what he wants to project. And um, he has uh, long black hair that goes down into a white ombre, and he's got sort of a top knot man bun here, mm -hmm. also very pristine. Um, and um, yeah, as he sort of looks out over things, he he feels comfortable in the sky, but this is a wild experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's enjoying it a lot. And you see uh, <laughs> a, a, a gentleman in his late 70s, <laughs> early 80s, um, <laughs> with beautiful silver trimmed facial hair. A oh, good receding hairline going, and, and a nice ponytail pulled tight oh. in the back. Mm. Is it cool, nice, Grandpa? Nice purple refinery, <laughs> a, a, nice, a nice quaffed collar, and a, some burnt orange underneath. And he has a, a very elegant looking walking stick uh, in his hand, as, as well as a very beautiful looking rapier on the other. You're right, this is terribly rude of me. I was just so excited seeing you all. Uh, my name is Sir Bertrand Bell. Sir. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Sir, you're, uh, you're a knight? Real knight? Are you a noble? Uh, not a noble. Uh, a knight is uh, generous, but it was a title bestowed upon me, and I didn't uh, show it away. <laughs> huh. Who Bert. bestowed it on you? Uh, are you familiar with uh, Vasselheim? Oh, you're not going to answer my question. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you? Like who bestowed it on you? I don't know if you would. Uh... <laughs> 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 oh no! I mean, we knew that already. Jeez. That, Has is, that, so cool. that is so cool. Wow. I, I really, really like cool. it. Oh, Where did you even? How? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? It's just getting a sip, guys. <laughs> it's really cute. It's just a simple home game. It actually is very cool. <laughs> <laughs> what does it so it's feel like, like it's like out of Borderlands or something. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What do you have on the front? Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was oh a God. brand new clean <clears throat> container when <throat> you started and you just gussied up the outside, what right? Is mm -hmm. that? Oh, That's right. You're okay. drinking yeah. out of it? Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Did you get that at the Warner lot? What is this? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to derail, this Special is the best way to derail, yeah, yeah. let's be oh, fair. Cool. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, uh, hi, I'm Fresh Cut Grass. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm Fresh Cut Grass. That's your name? Th that's what I'm called, yeah. Oh. Like your first name or is Grass your middle name? 
Or your or last name. Or cut grass. Yeah. I, I I'm just called Fresh Cut Grass. I don't um I don't really distinguish between a, a surname or anything like that. Did you give yourself your name or No, no. Um my former associate gave me my name. Um she named all of her uh all of her creations after her favorite uh, smells. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. There was a bunch of us. Uh, there was, there was me. There was oatmeal. Uh, there was apple pie. There was pussy. Um, there was a oh. bunch of a bunch of us. Wow. It's so nice to see other people having to hear this. It's really just bringing everything into sharp perspective. This has been a day. <laughs> that took me a bit by surprise. This has been a day. <laughs> Uh, you, you, uh, what was, what was your name? <laughs> wow, it was just thrown out there so quick. Um, Did you say said help? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Fern. <laughs> yeah. And before I head up, I'll find the drunkest person in the place and give them my room key. Okay. They are... They're, the drunkest person is passed out on a table. I will try to help them up to the room and <laughs> put them to sleep. Oh. Oh. As they pull, Come pull their face up, you see a half orc with big, bushy sideburns and kind of a receding hairline. Uh, looks like they're they're wearing an outfit of one of the wardens or the the wilders, the, oh. the kind of guard that maintained the the city. And he looks like he's a little ragged and had a rough day. And he's like, "It's all right. You, you'll be fine tomorrow. You just need to sleep here." Take this bed. Okay, weird thing. <laughs> I definitely exist. This isn't a dream. <laughs> ah, weird. It just goes along. <laughs> Doesn't even argue. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I do that after these games when I get home. <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> 